How did it get here? It's here. <gasps> <laughs> this is big it's news. This is gigantic. All right, this is a massage table I ordered. Yep, that's really heavy. Yep, that's really heavy. All right, I'm in the middle of editing my vlog. I just got to this part. Yep, that's really heavy. Um, I can't help myself. It is calling my name to make a song. So that's what I'm doing. Yep, that's really heavy. Yep, that's really heavy. So we're pausing the vlog here so that I can quickly make a song. <laughs> Let's add drums first. Sorry, there's a chance this vlog is going to be a little bit late today because this is important. This is a film camera. Ever heard of it? Okay, this is so dope. No LCD screen. How does that make you feel? This, Kodak Portra 400. Some Ilford black and white. Fuji film. For all of you youngins out there, this is a film camera and this is film. Before, video and music like completely consumed my life. I did hey photography, weddings and portraits and landscapes. Photography for me was really what music and film is for me now. It was kind of an escape. It was something that was relaxing and therapeutic. And since I've gotten into film and music, it's like completely disappeared from my life. I haven't shot stills in a really long time. I wanted to get back into this so that I could you know, flex that muscle and I just miss it, okay? So yeah, I bought this old Canon camera. I don't know, there's something about shooting film that's really magical and amazing because you have to expose and compose every single frame just perfectly and you have one shot to do it. Unlike digital where you can like fire a million shots and just check all of them, you can't do that with film. So this is cool. Oh, I did it. Woo! Woo! Exciting times in the neighborhood. Let's get it on here. It's haircut time. It's haircut time. Haircut time is here. Time to grab some shears. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to sit through this haircut because I am really out of it. Sleeping though, I was just looking, I was thinking about my projects. Look up, you see the moonlight bright, and it won't bite. No appetite, it's on a diet, and I'm wired, and I'm wide awake. Ready to get some. Alright, that was Billy, my barber. In case you're all wondering how I get the SDW cut. <laughs>
10 p.m. It's weird. I've done 50 vlogs over the past several months, and I've shared so much about myself. Um, I've opened up about things that I never thought I would open up about. What I've learned in my life and as a creator is the number one most important thing is to be authentic and don't be shy. And it's something that I'm not perfect at, but it's something that I strive for every day is to be authentic and don't be shy. It's so easy for us to put on a front, pretend to be something we're not, or pretend to be somebody else. It's not until you truly find yourself and can find your voice that you can become authentic. And that, especially on YouTube, is such an important thing. People ask me all the time, how do you be successful on YouTube? How do I get big? How do I do all this stuff? First of all, you have to be authentic. You have to find that voice. You have to be you. And that is something that I have struggled to find, but it's something that I think is key. Don't be shy. That's a hard one. I personally am an introvert, like a huge introvert. I, my whole growing up, I was that kid that sat alone at lunch and I was the kid that was afraid to to raise his hand in class for fear of being wrong. When I started doing YouTube, that was the first time I really had to start stepping out of my comfort zone. I, I can't preach enough about the, the be authentic, don't be shy. Conquering those and working towards those will only prove to lead to greater opportunities, greater success. It's a ramble. End of the night ramble. I think that's probably going to become a theme of these vlogs. Leave me some comments. Leave me some love. Let me know what you're liking, what you're wanting more of. Thank you for all the support. Alvita Zane!